Welcome to the tutorial using the Dynamic Planning for C Classes Road Sections. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how street sections can be planned and optimized with the example of a street in Berlin. The street map has already been imported as a CAD file in Relux. We create a polygonal measuring surface with the aid of the CAD snap. We assign the lighting class C2 to the measuring surface in its properties window. Next, we select a street luminaire in the products ribbon. With the right mouse button, we select row and draw a polyline along the road layout. The luminaires are automatically aligned to the street. In this case, the 3 meter standard height reference from the manufacturer's database is too low. Therefore, the program also calculates a larger number of luminaires. We increase the value to 8 meters. Next, we manually set the distance between the luminaires to 25 meters. Now the whole arrangement is realistic. For the fine tuning, we start a dynamic planning mode and place both windows side by side. On the right side, under the window Results, we see the current calculation values for this measurement area. Red marked results show the optimization potential. Green marked results fulfill the assigned lighting classes. We select the row and adjust the luminaires by 5 degrees and see that the result for the uniformity now fulfills a nominal value. Next, we aim for the largest possible mast spacing. To do so, we edit this manually and constantly check the results. How are the illuminances along the street? To verify this, we use the shortcut Alt, Shift, Ctrl and R to create a further but rectangular measuring surface and while the dynamic planning mode is activated. In this mode, the results of the selected measuring area are displayed. In our example, these are M2 and M3. Luminaire rows, as well as single luminaires, can also be dimmed. We select the luminaire row and adjust the luminous flux in the properties. In our example, it is 0.5, respectively 50%. The effects are immediately visible in the dynamic planning results. We hope to have brought you some insight regarding these new functions, and thank you for watching.